not really like a duck bill at all. It's very soft and pliable, quite rubbery. It's a layer of bone through the middle here. So the bone probably extends from sort of there to there. So it's a very sensitive organ, but physically it's really tough. So they sort of use it to snuffle through all the rocks and stuff on the bottom. And that's why they end up with all these scars all over it. And you can kind of, you can see all these pores, those little dots all over the bill. Yeah. That's where all the little electroreceptors and pressure sensors are. And they're sort of very vaguely aligned in these lines along the bill, but there's thousands of them. The electrical signals that they can pick up in the water we can't even pick up with our equipment. So the eyes and ears sit in this little groove here. And there's a whole muscle that closes the whole lot when they're underwater. When they're going through the bottom and everything, all the sediment and everything's coming over their face, this shield provides a bit of protection to their eyes as well. So they don't have any teeth sort of keratinized pads in there that they just grind up all their food. So when they dive down, they find their food on the bottom, they store it in cheek pouches and then come up to the top and crush it all. So usually if you're ever doing dietary analysis, you can catch an animal like this, you can get a little spatula and scrape out his cheek pouches and get all the little remnants that are oh. stuck in there.